Welcome to this video about arc length. In this video, we're going to answer the question that is being asked on this slide. So what we have is a function of one variable, f of x is 2 thirds times x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2. And then we're being asked to compute the arc length. So if you would plot the graph of the function, and then you would walk along the graph, what is the distance you travel if you go from x equals 1, and then the point on the graph, to x equals 4, the point on the graph? So try to solve this. Um, pause the video here. See if you can find one of the five answers here. Only one of them is correct. And if you manage to do that, then you can restart the video and see a solution by me. So let's see. The general formula that we need to use is that this arc length, let's call that capital L, is the integral from 1 to 4. And then the function we need to integrate is the square root of 1 plus f prime x, so the first derivative, squared dx. So this is what gives us the arc length. This is what gives us the length if we would walk along the curve. Normally this is quite complicated, but you will see that for this function, um, it simplifies the integrand. The function that we need to find an antiderivative of becomes quite simple. Because indeed for the function that we have here, if we differentiate it, we find that f prime x is 2 thirds times derivative of x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2. So we get a 3 over 2 and then x minus 1 and we lower the exponent by 1 and we get 1 half. So this becomes the square root of x minus 1. So if we plug that into the expression for L, what we find is that capital L equals the integral from 1 to 4 square root 1 plus, and then we have to square x minus 1 square root. So what we get is x minus 1 dx. So what we need to compute is the integral from 1 to 4 square root of x dx. And of course, that is not very difficult because this is x to the power 1 half. So an antiderivative is 2 thirds x to the power 3 over 2. If I differentiate this, I find square root of x. And then with limits x equals 4, x equals 1. So we get 2 thirds plug in x equals 4. So then we find 4 times square root of 4 minus 1 times square root of 1. So we have 2 thirds. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So apparently the answer to this question is 14 over 3. And hopefully that's one of the options. And indeed it is. So we see that answer E is the correct answer to this question. So hopefully that was all clear. If not, try to solve a couple of these arc length questions yourself. Look in the book for the theory. Um, and I hope it will all become clear. Otherwise, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.